Oh, wow. Here we go again. Thank you again for coming back to World of Wisdom, Beauty, Health, and Fitness. I am so glad you're back with us again today. Uh, and, uh, oh, thank you again for the part two, because now I, because they still see my water. Yeah, the part's part two, yeah. And so on this part two, we're gonna talk about, first part we were water, talking about water, and now this time we're gonna talk, we're talking about how, let's see, relaxation tips, stress relief techniques, health tips. That's what we're talking about today, health tips. Now, you know, they're saying that uh, when you go dancing, and you like to move your body and all that. Uh, aerobics, uh, what else, what else, what else? Just dancing with a partner. Oh, go dancing once or twice a week. That relieves stress, you know. But now, yeah, that relieves stress. And uh, do so, you know, you don't have to overdo it. And even if you're home, you don't have to go to a club. If you're home, put your favorite music on and move around because there's a lot of single people out there, single, satisfied, and loving it. And I'm one of those. And I enjoy me, and I enjoy being around many other people too. So being around other people too could be stressful, but if you're around other people, if you're around other people, they, um, yeah, if you're around other people, sometimes they can, um, they can make you upset. Now, Angel here, you can see Angel, she looks like she doesn't get upset at all. She's just happy all the time. And if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. She's happy all the time. And this is, again, Angel. She's been in my family for over 50 years. She has a lovely olive color. And she has beautiful eyes and her skin color. You got a little, little nice pink lips there. And uh, sh um, this is my doll. My mother had these dolls for over 50 years. And when she passed on, I told this story in the other episode there. When uh, she passed on, my sister had the dolls. And I said, Gloria, you've got to give me. And Gloria is um, one of the famous James Bond ladies from in the 70s. And I said, Gloria, Gloria Henry, you have to give me my doll. I want my doll. And so she gave me my doll, and she has her doll. And we both have our doll, and I, I bring my doll with me sometimes. And she's my guest today with me, even though she can't speak, but she's, she can hear. I love her. I love her. And I dress her up at times. Now, uh, and she has no stress. Lord have mercy. But now, to reduce stress, they're saying even, um, when you're in the yard doing plant work, flowers, that's stressless. You know, that's, oh, that's just wonderful. And if you, whatever you enjoy doing, if you like to go swimming, you go swimming. If you like to go to the gym, which I do, and uh, move around with the weights, uh, listening to the music, and just enjoying yourself, that will prevent uh, stress and uh, so many people have high blood pressure today uh, due to I guess all the and I know due to all the sodium that's in the food and sometimes you have a relationship that uh, you guys just keep uh, bumping heads bumping heads and that's no good so you got to find a media you have to go for counseling, do something, but you can't continue to upset each other. And if you live in the same household, don't keep continuously uh, uh, upset each other. You guys are both gonna get high blood pressure, fall on the floor and have some kind of problem. So uh, reduce that stress and uh, uh, read the Bible together. And if you're not into the word, go for counseling, do something. But don't make each other upset, and especially if you live in the same household. Don't let your children get you all upset. You know, you have to find someone to, uh, or you have to find a, a, a balance so you guys will, uh, won't make each other upset, because that stress is, is, it's a living, it's an eating cancer, stress is. 
and uh, just laying in the bed, relaxing, just thinking about all the wonderful, say like if you were married and your husband, and you know, you're, you're already divorced and all of that stuff. They say in the books, it says here now, just think about all your memories, all the wonderful things that you used to do with your, your ex-husband or what have you, loving, having fun and all that. Just think about that. Put a good uh, music on. Put some music on and just think about all the good times. Every, every divorce and every, uh, let's see, every divorce and separation or whatever, you've had some good times. It was not all bad. So think about the good times, all right? And um, now this says here, a massage to release tension in the lower back with a tennis ball, hmm, with a tennis ball. So they have pictures to show that too. And uh, aerobic, of course, aerobic exercise, they say at least five minutes aerobics, you know, you can do it, you know. Oh, oh I'm just gonna, you know, you can just take your time and just open up your chest, just, Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You, you, oh, you, and just do it about maybe even 10 times. Breathe in and out. And uh, it just will relieve some of that stress. And another thing that every family should have, a uh, blood pressure, uh, uh, blood pressure cuff. And so the one you can put around your cuff, and they still have the ones you can put up here too on your, uh, up here in the upper arm. But every family should invest in a blood pressure cuff. So <laughs> what I say is, after you've been around all day and you said, look, I'm tired of fussing with you and all that, take your blood pressure after you finish arguing and you'll see what I'm talking about. Take your blood pressure when you're calm and just see what it is. Take your blood pressure when you're, uh, what, what have you, in the morning and in the evening, but don't, like they say, the doctor says, don't take the, uh, don't take your blood pressure too often, you know? And just like weighing yourself, don't weigh yourself every day, maybe once a week because your anxiety. Oh, and another thing, when um, water, if you have so much water in your body, you know, water, it, 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 uh, it weighs, water weighs. So you can take about a, what, half a pound off. And oh, and like me, I have a right hip replacement. And when the doctor put that right hip uh, prosthetic in me, I said, doctor, how much will that weigh so I can take that off of my weight? He said, maybe a half a pound. I said, okay. <laughs> so I take a half a pound off of, uh, from the prosthetic that's in my right hip. Now, it says, um, you can, uh, when someone upsets you, you can, and I, I can't show you all the ways, but when someone upsets you, you just have to say uh, thank you for the for the uh, for whatever they said to you. Just thank you, thank you, and I will work on that. And uh, then you just you just feel better about that. Anger, be slow to anger. That's what it says in the book. Be slow to anger because that anger will just eat you up, and you do something that you don't want. You'll be sorry for later. Okay, daydreaming, it says to d reduce less stress. You know, daydreaming is okay. And put, your, uh, put yourself, and you can day, daydream, uh, put yourself in a certain mood so you will feel more relaxed as well, a certain mood. Yeah, certain mood, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what else do I wanna tell you? Going to get a facial going to get a pedicure, a massage, all of that is less stress and it's very uh, comforting, comforting to you, okay? Now, another thing which they say, cats and dogs, especially, and I'm a dog lover, if you have a dog, dogs make you feel so happy. So hug on your dog, love on your dog, take him for a walk. Talk to him. If you don't have nobody else in the house, talk to your dog and they listen. They listen. 
They're just wonderful. And they say dog is a man's and a woman's best friend. Isn't that right? Man is a woman and a dog, a woman and a man's best friend. Yes, that's true. That's true. And they say stroking them, stroking your dogs. Okay. And oh, hugs. Talking about hugs. That's how I stress for free. Uh, when you see someone, you know, kissing them, don't, that, don't do that because, you know, germs is all out there. When I say kiss them on the cheek or don't even do that or on the forehead, you know, just give them a hug or, or a high five or something like that because it's just so many germs out there. You can get a cold for shaking somebody's hand today. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Okay, so you can uh, take your pet for a walk, things like that, and go get a pedicure, like I said. And men, don't be shy. I see men getting their pedicures today, and I think it's a wonderful thing. You need to manicure your body. Your nails need to be trimmed. You know, dogs' nails need to be trimmed. Our nails need to be trimmed. Pedicure and manicure. I love that. You know, I love that. And uh, when you're at work, sometimes you have to, when you sit at your desk, when you sit at your desk, you just say, uh, if you're stressed out, just close your eyes for a minute. Be careful that you don't want them to think you're going to sleep. Just meditate on something wonderful that you know you're going to go home to and just breathe in and out. About five times in your nose and out your mouth. And especially if you're angry at the moment, that will relieve some of the stress as well, okay? And uh, think about someone in your life that have made you feel so happy. I think about my mother, she's passed on, but I think about some of the things that we did when we were kids. I think about my sister, things that we've done, as children, and, uh, and and then when you you know be, get in a I want to get in a group of women or a group of men so you guys can just share stories. I love that share stories. Now what I do, it's called uh, uh, chair therapy. If you have anything that you would like to share, I'm over at the Pasadena Senior Center, and I do. Uh, uh, if you want to sit down and just talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, and I will listen to you. So this is Dr. Malika Hendry saying, yes, you can come and I will, uh, we can talk and whatever you would like to share with me, it just stays between us two. And just therapy and talking with other people and, and letting out certain things you'd like to share. Okay, and that, and sometimes you're burning up inside, but you just want to share something with someone. Uh, being that I've been a nurse for many, many years and a cosmetologist, I have had people sit in my chair and they have poured their hearts out to me. And I'll listen and I'll give them a feedback. That's why now uh, I am an ordained minister and I do, uh, I can talk with you and uh, you can, I can minister to you. And like I said again, my, my favorite uh, scripture is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lean not into my own understanding. And if I continue to acknowledge the Lord in all of my uh, ways, he and only he will direct my path. Now the devil tries to get in there. He tries to get in there. But I say, uh-uh, devil, you get under my feet and I'm not gonna listen to you today. And if I do go off track, Father God brings me back, because I'm a little stubborn, and he knows how to bring me back on track, okay? And uh, love, love is strange. You know, when I see young people, they're falling, you know, they are dating, and uh, I have someone in my family, they're dating, and they seem to be falling in love more and more. They, their hearts are so warm right now. They're so warm. And that's new relationships. If you can go into a new relationship, now that will get your heart woo, feeling very, very warm and uh, exciting. And uh, that's a good thing too. 
and just be careful about all the people that you meet uh, but a new relationship is just wonderful a new relationship is just wonderful going on picnics going to the uh, uh, I don't know about the casinos but if you go to the casinos and you want to shop and want to go to the buffets and enjoy a meal now that's all wonderful because that's what I do I go to the casinos Pachanga Maranga all of them but I go shopping. I do not, if they, I don't, I, I very seldom put money in the machine. I go there for fellowshipping and uh, fellowshipping and shopping. Like last time I went, I bought some earrings and they was like $20. And the next time I go, I might buy a belt and just all of that is just wonderful. And talking with other people is therapy, just talking. And if, uh, and I have an ear to hear long as you listen to me too <laughs> long as you listen to me sometime too i have a friend i said well, she just pulls her heart out and she said oh i gotta go so wait 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 uh-uh i listen to you you're gonna listen to me now i have something to say too and uh, we both laugh about that but hugs hugging a person just a body contact you don't have to hold them tight the, the body all the way down and squeeze them and all that but up up the up the, up the arms up there oh hugging is just therapy it's therapy hugging now kissing if you have to be really uh, in love and you know uh, very connected to each other if you go into kissing that's another thing that's a relationship and everybody is looking for a relationship I did, but now I just said, Lord, I am just living single, satisfied, and loving it. If you want to know any, if you want to uh, learn about any resources, how you can live a healthy, uh, living single life, you can call me, 626-840-4493. And uh, my email is Hendry malika7 at gmail.com i have so many resources for you to, uh, you can, a group of us women we get together and we go on trips and uh i have uh, so anyway i have sources that uh, if you want to go on trips and uh, plays all of that i can uh, inform you of that okay okay again uh and like i said i my best time my most favorite, oh, going to the park, going to the park just like, um, and having a picnic with maybe a few friends or even by yourself. You know, we do so many things with people. Sometimes you have so many people and uh, in your life, involved in your life. It's okay to go down to, I live in Pasadena, so it's okay to go, around, go to the Rose Bowl, get your picnic basket and put all the things that you need in there and bring a good book too. And just relax and listen to the birds and the bees and just watch other people, the little ones. And another thing, when I was, uh, even now, when I, my grandkids, they're just about all grown now, and I would go to the uh, child center. And if you get, you want to see something beautiful and get, see something beautiful, you go to a child care facility and just watch the little ones playing. It's such a delight. It's such a wonderful, wonderful feeling that you get. And maybe volunteer yourself. And that's another thing. Don't have self-pity for yourself. Volunteer. Go see how other people are living. Go see how other people are like um, uh, VA, veterans. I support veterans, especially, um, what do you call that? Uh, veterans that have uh, paralyzed veterans, and I support them. And uh, they, they need love too, they need someone to talk with. So I love that. And all of this can uh, reduce your stress level. Oh, this is a, one of the main things. Say like if you're in your car. <laughs> when, I go, when I was going to Vegas, when my son was around, I would go to Vegas and then when you're in the car, by yourself, nobody's around, not, you, it says here, look, screaming, screaming, I'm not going to scream, but screaming, hollering in the car by yourself can release stress. I can do it right now, but I don't want to, right? 
<laughs> they tell me, don't do it. But uh, you're just to the top of your lungs and do it a couple of times. <laughs> and just scream. And you, it's like you release something and you get tingly inside. It's like, wow. Do it several times and try it. That releases stress. And then they said, screaming bad words. Now, I don't know what that really, really means, but a bad words, I guess if you're the, in the car by yourself, you don't want to scream it at any of your uh, relatives or your children. Okay, and, uh, and then they say, um, I can test it. Uh, blood vessels, when you, when you scream and holler, things like that, it, 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 uh, decre it uh, your blood vessels relax. Your blood vessel relaxes. Isn't that something? And laughing, just, you know, even in Ch China, they have a place where, and we need to, I, I guess if we seek it out here, if you want to uh, uh, go to a place to make you laugh, a laughing place to make you laugh, that is so great for you. Laughter is good for the soul. And act goofy sometimes, they say. Act foolish. Have fun. Laugh until you, until you cry sometimes. Tears come down. All of that lessens hypertension. And I believe it because I don't have hypertension and I laugh, I act goofy. Matter of fact, I'm a certain age, but people just don't believe my age. And uh, I'm just a child at heart. I'm very youthful and I'm around young people and all that. And that means a lot to be around and listen to some of their music sometime. It sounds, maybe some of that rapping sounds crazy, but listen to it sometime. And they're trying to, they're trying to get uh, messages out there for you. And I listen to it sometime, to listen to the messages. But um, yeah, and being going to, what is it, child, child care places and uh, what else, there's so many things. You, oh, when you go to the beauty shop, this is what I'm finding out, and it's true. Barber, the barber shops are out there, and um, it's very popular. And a lot of times, the, what the men talk about in the barber, in the shops, and they release stress right there in the shop. Just like our clients, they come to our shop. We have a beauty shop called the Braider Fan Company, where we specialize in braiding and weaving, and they're there like four, six, eight hours. So you know, and then they're sitting there and they're pouring their hearts out, telling us all this and that about their family, of good things about uh, uh, whatever they need to uh, wanna talk about. And as we're behind their head doing their hair and all that, they, they are so relaxed. And we are so glad to be a part of that therapy. We are so glad to be a part of that therapy for the people that would like to uh, uh, vent what happened last month, what happened yesterday, what happened today. And we have an ear to hear. We have an ear to hear, I know I do. And I love to hear stories. I'm always interviewing people. And uh, once you connect with them on something that they like to talk about, boy, they just talk, talk, talk. But it's okay, long as they listen to me sometime. <laughs> long as they, oh, what did they say in here? Uh, I, I think I talked about it. Fun, fun, fun releases stress. Whatever your fun is, that's within reason. That releases, releases stress. And the presence of flowers. They're saying flowers. If you have fresh flowers in your home or where you live and you see the flowers, that gives you a, it lightens the mood. It lightens the mood and it, it makes you feel good. It's, and and um, doing this, it allows uh, earth and provides, when you see the, uh, the, what can I say? Provides calmness, provides calmness. When the red roses, uh, white roses, things like that, yeah. And another thing I'd like to share, chance. Okay, well, oh, in church, oh, church. When you're in church, wow, and you receive the Holy Spirit, wow. Now that, you can really, you, you release that Holy Spirit. You release all the, 
oh, all the stuff that you want to just feel inside and God is working inside of you. It just feels so good. And uh, uh, the music, when they have the music, uh, uh, so many different songs. Um, I'd like to say right now, reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this a better world if you can. I'll say it again. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this a better world if you can. That is so important. And connection, like your next door neighbor, always be friendly, even if you don't see it, you peek out or what have you at each other. Say, hi, how was your day? And you know, one day they're gonna need you. We're gonna need each other one of these days. So always speak to your neighbor. And because if you live next door to someone, you say, I wonder what he's doing now, what she's doing, that's stress. Be open, be friendly. I know sometimes it's hard. It's hard, but be open and be friendly. And um, let's see, focus yourself, focus your mind on wonderful things. Um, have a piece of chocolate sometime. Now that will make you warm and that make you, make you uh, relax. Have a piece of chocolate, a movie, a movie, you go to a movie and it t movies, when you go to a great movie, it takes your mind out of this world. You're right in the movie theater. You're right in the movie. That's the way I am. When I come out of the movie, I'm just relaxed because I didn't have any, I took myself out of my own body and was in, put myself into the movie. And that was so, oh boy. And, uh, and it says here, by practicing fun, stress, quickly achieve emotional balance. Okay, I'm gonna say it one more time here. It says, by practicing fun, Stress quickly achieve emotional balance. Wow, that's good. Now, even, look, I know people are married. They have uh, partners and all that. They say st sex relieves stress as well. Yes, it does. And trust in the Lord with all your heart and go by faith and not by sight. Go by faith and not by sight and continue to watch our shows. Call us, let us know what you think about our shows. You can be a guest on the show as well. Thank you, thank you. You can be a guest on our show. And yoga, don't forget yoga. Praise God, praise God. Okay, thank you Jesus, hallelujah.